Ever been stuck in an elevator? Not so pleasant, right? Now imagine you are deaf, hard of hearing, or speech impaired. This further complicates being trapped. How your call for help is handled matters. And now with code updates from ASME and IBC, emergency communications inside of your elevator require even more. Building code compliance is critical, particularly when related to on-site life safety. Elevator codes can be complicated. And now with code updates from ASME and IBC, emergency communications inside of your elevator require even more. States adopting these new code standards now require a two-way messaging system for the deaf, hard of hearing, and speech impaired, video capability, and a display message indicating help is on site. For video capability, the camera must be positioned to capture the elevator floor. This not only meets code, but also provides additional benefits in verifying true versus false alarms for all emergency calls where the dispatcher is unable to elicit a response from the caller. Let's walk through exactly how this works for the trapped passenger and the emergency dispatcher. When a passenger presses the call button, an encrypted tunnel opens to our emergency dispatch center. A video and text message call request is created for that specific elevator, and the operator answers the call. Kings, three and a quarter of the line, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello, is everything okay? Can anybody hear me? Do you have an emergency? Here is a view of the operator's workstation. The screen on the left shows the property's account and alarm information for this elevator. The screen on the right shows the view inside the cab and the text box where the operator can type messages to be viewed by the passenger. If there is no verbal response from the caller, our emergency dispatcher will access the video feed to confirm whether a passenger is present. If a passenger is present but has not responded verbally, our dispatcher will begin nonverbal communication by posting messages to the in-car screen. Passengers can either respond verbally or may press the designated buttons to provide yes or no answers to the dispatcher's questions. If there is still no response and our dispatcher has visually confirmed a passenger is present, they will dispatch appropriate emergency personnel. Hi, my name is Caden with Kings 3 and a quarter line. Call and inform you of an elevator entrapment at 100 Main Street in Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, in elevator one, there is an entrapment. The passengers could not hear me, but I was able to verify that they were trapped in there over the video. Let's call and see if you can send a technician out there to see if you can get the passengers out. So what makes Kings 3's cab view solution stand apart? Our system is non-proprietary, meaning our monitoring solution works with a range of manufacturers and can be used with any open platform system. This provides you with added flexibility and keeps you from getting unnecessarily locked in with a single elevator service company. Working with us is easy. We provide your phone, your data connection, and the monitoring. Your elevator company, or one of the many elevator fixture companies we partner with, provides the video messaging hardware. We aim to make this as hassle-free for your team as possible. Our service is all-inclusive. We provide and install the phone equipment and include lifetime maintenance of our phone hardware. Most importantly is the inclusion of our unmatched emergency dispatch services. Seconds count. We know because we've been making them count when it matters most for more than 30 years. At Kings 3, we provide critical communication services to help people in distress helping our customers and our industry partners navigate elevator code specific to emergency communications is our area of expertise. Visit us online to learn more.